You can't build a championship program overnight. This is a lesson Wake Forest coach Jeff Bisdelic knows all too well after finishing 8-24 his first year in Winston-Salem. Don't expect any conference championship talk this year, but you can expect the Demon Deeks to surprise a few with a young yet talented squad led by forward Travis McKee, who finished first in rebounding and second in scoring among ACC freshmen last season. At number 11 on our ACC men's basketball preseason countdown, the Wake Forest Demon Deacon. Were we uh, experienced enough last year? No, we weren't. Were we strong enough last year? No, we weren't. Were we a together basketball team last year? No, we weren't. Uh, we were the youngest team in the ACC. No team played more freshmen, more minutes than us, and that's, that's difficult in a, in a very tough league. And now we're in a much better place. So we're in a place where we have a more together, more experienced, stronger basketball team, and um, our practices have been good. Our players collectively are humble and hungry, and they're looking forward to, to showing improvement on the basketball court. I think our, the biggest strength right now for our basketball team is that they're humble and they're hungry and, and in a collective way. I, I just think that that means a lot. That's real powerful. Uh, you know, somebody, somebody once described to me, what's the most dangerous animal in the woods? A wounded one. Not necessarily the biggest one, but a wounded one. A uh, wounded one that's fighting to survive. And if you back, uh, if you take a wounded animal and back them into a corner, it's going to do anything it can to survive. It's going to, it's going to claw. It's going to spit. It's going to scratch till its last breath. And I think that there's great power in that. And that's the way our basketball team is right now. I think, I think C.J. Harris is, is someone. And, and I told him yesterday at practice. I said, C.J., I'm going to hold you to a higher standard. For example, we played games up. We, we, we played some games up to seven points, and losers are running. And each team only gets two balls. If you, so, if your if your team turns it over, you only have one turnover left to play with. For example, and you could be up six zip and turn it over for your second time, and you lost the game because you got no more balls to play with. And I told CJ, you know, I'm going to hold you to a higher standard because I think I can get more out of you as a leader and as someone who's going to be like that wounded animal. So every time you play, your team's down three zips, right out of the box. You're behind the eight ball. And yesterday, for example, his team won seven to six. 